The sun's getting low and Samon and Chawiwan are getting hungry. There's still time for a final sweep of the paddy pond because somewhere here, dinner is lurking. <laughs> like many Thais, Samon delights in eating things that many Westerners would hesitate to even touch. We're told there's enough here to feed three families. <laughs> That doesn't mean they eat anything. Back home, the squirmy things inside the squirmy things are carefully removed. This is not a cuisine for the faint-hearted. The northeast province of Isan is famous for having the spiciest food and the most bizarre ingredients. The first course tonight is tadpole stew with plenty of chilli and herbs. <laughs> Thai cuisine may now be popular around the world, but foodies have barely begun to unearth the delights of Isan. Flies are about the only insects not welcome at these markets. Stink bugs are a particular delicacy, as a base for chilli paste or just a healthy finger food. Hello. <laughs> Personally, I'd rather eat tadpole stew. <laughs> I'd love to be really culturally cool and say it tastes fantastic, but you know those stick bugs you get on your shirt as a kid? It's like taking it off and eating it. That's what it tastes like. Yeah. <laughs> that, they really did taste like a stick bug. Can't someone else do this story? But this is not just a story about the strange things that people eat. Because, like it or not, bug cuisine could be coming to you. Inside the Research and Development Centre of Isan's Agricultural College, modern science is promoting the benefits of bugs. The head researcher, Ratana, believes they're better for you than steak or chicken. It has a good taste. Mm. And good for you? Yeah. And has uh, vitamin B1, B2 and niacin. The college buys bugs from villages and cooks them up in sterile conditions. On today's menu are cockroach-like black beetles and a small plague of locusts. I think it is not dirty. It's very clean. Some of them eat only glass. The aim of all this is to build up an export industry for Isan's locals. The college has mobilised the surrounding villages. Every night, Bug hunters go to work. Every house here is equipped with a neon lure. Prachan Pichai has been trapping insects for 10 years for the local market. Now she's going global. For every kilogram of creepy crawlies, the college pays her $4. Catching nocturnal bugs is the easy part. By day, two of the college's intrepid hunter-gatherers search low and high for a real Isan delicacy, ant eggs. Do you get bitten much when you're trying to catch the ants? Good. Is it worth it? Yeah. 
Every morning, the college stir fries the fresh catch and dries it out in ovens to seal the flavours in. The project is still in the developmental stage, but Rattana hopes enterprising businesses will take advantage of the export potential. It's the first time that we put it in the can, it can keep for a long time. And for people who live far away, can, can, buy, can buy them and eat them. The college has already had inquiries from gastronomic giants like Japan and Italy, as news of Isan's gourmet grubs travels the globe. So, the acid test. Fresh from the laboratory, a selection of exotic insects with a garnish of basil. Here we go. Look at that. A bit of local Thai wine, some catfish sausage, and a plate full of bugs. In truth, I was as keen on this dinner as I would be for a cockroach sandwich. And yes, the black water beetle tasted much like you'd expect an ugly black beetle to taste. Yummy. But the silkworm pupae weren't bad at all. They, they, they taste a little bit like liver. The crickets were crunchy, a bit like beer nuts with a soft centre going down quite nicely with a drop of local plonk. Gourmet insects won't be to everyone's taste, but if you're looking for a meal with a difference, bugs aren't bad grub.